how Germany's Vector and Twister drones are giving Ukraine an edge. So let's get one thing straight. The era of AI drone war in Ukraine is heating up. And thanks to the Germans, it's armed with more AI than a Silicon Valley job fair. On the battered plains of eastern Ukraine, where the sound of artillery is basically the soundtrack of daily life, a new class of flying scout has arrived. Its name? Vector. And its German sibling, Twister. These things don't only see and map. They're hearing the enemy before the first shell even lands. But their AI brains are the big headline here. So let's talk about it. Hey friends, Wes here, multi-branch veteran, law grad, tech nerd, and recovering journalist. And today we're talking about how Germany's AI neural networks are shaping the battlefield in Ukraine. Forget everything you think you know about military drones. The days when a quadcopter with a GoPro was considered cutting edge are as outdated as VHS tapes. In 2025, Ukraine's drone war has entered a new era, one where the line between robot and soldier starts to blur. Thanks to neural networks and the kind of battlefield AI that would make Alan Turing do a double take, today's frontline drones aren't just seeing the battlefield, they're understanding it. German-made vector and twister drones are a testament to that shift. Instead of relying solely on a human pilot squinting at a grainy video feed, these platforms are using onboard neural networks to make decisions in real time. So what does that actually mean? Well, picture this. The vector is aloft over the front line. Suddenly, a Russian battery opens up with a salvo of artillery. The drone's featherweight acoustic sensors pick up the thunderclap of the guns. Not just the bang, but the signature sound print of the firing weapon. Here's where the AI steps in. A neural network is basically a machine learning model that mimics the way the human brain works. Well, minus the coffee breaks and the existential dread. It takes raw data, in this case, the cacophony of battlefield noise, and it runs it through a series of digital neurons arranged in layers. Each layer refines and interprets the input, filtering out the drone rotor noise, distinguishing between wind and weapons fire, and crucially, identifying exactly which enemy weapon just spoke up. Think of it like the world's most diligent sound engineer, working in a nightclub where every patron is trying to kill you. The AI's first layer grabs the incoming sound. The next filters out what doesn't matter. Drone rotors, birds, nearby explosions. And the deeper layers start matching patterns. Was that a 2S19 Mista howitzer? A 120 millimeter mortar? or just some poor Russian conscript tripping over his own ammo box. With enough training data, these neural networks become eerily good at telling the difference. But it doesn't stop there. The neural net doesn't just ID the weapon. It can estimate range and direction, flag the coordinates for immediate action, and in the not so distant future, even initiate a strike order. In the early versions, a human operator gets an alert. Hey, I heard a D-30 open up 11 kilometers away at bearing 220. The operator confirms it visually through the drone's camera, and within seconds, counter-battery fire can be on the way. The next generation? The AI will handle the whole kill chain. Find, fix, track, target, engage, and assess. The implications are massive. This is not only faster intelligence, it's about outcycling the enemy's entire decision loop. Russian gunners who once relied on old Soviet doctrine are now faced with drones that can hear them find them, and kill them, sometimes before they've even unwrapped their lunch. Neural networks are, in most cases, the best algorithm for drones in modern warfare, especially when you need real-time processing. They're built for visual and sensor data. Neural nets, especially convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, are phenomenal at making sense of images, video, IR feeds, radar returns, and even audio. The modern battlefield is overflowing with unstructured data, like shaky drone video, thermal images, signal noise. Old school algorithms like SIFT or basic signal processing simply can't keep up in terms of accuracy or speed when things get messy. Neural nets, when deployed on specialized hardware like the NVIDIA Jetson Orin, can run massive amounts of math in parallel, analyzing every pixel every millisecond. Traditional algorithms are usually sequential and CPU-bound. Neural nets are GPU-native, 
crunching thousands of features simultaneously. On the right chip, you can process 30 plus video frames per second on the drone itself. No sending images back to HQ, no lag, no reliance on vulnerable comms. Finally, neural nets can be quantized and optimized through something like TensorRT to run efficiently on embedded edge devices. By the way, edge computing just means that all the thinking happens on the device, not in the cloud. That makes them more or less jam-proof. This is exactly what you want on a drone with a battery and compute constraints. I know I'm using a lot of AI jargon here and I'm trying to explain as I go. Just to clarify, TensorRT is NVIDIA's proprietary specialized software that takes a trained AI model and makes it run much faster and much smaller on an edge device. Usually, AI models are power hogs, but this Tensor RT software shrinks and turbocharges these models for embedded use. Whew. Okay, as for the vector in Ukraine, let's not forget the context. These are mass produced, locally assembled, and flying thousands of missions over Ukraine skies. The AI neural networks on board are trained not in sterile labs, but in the real, noisy, chaotic mess of the modern battlefield. Every flight, Every hit, every evasion just makes the next generation smarter and deadlier. This is a paradigm shift. The battle is no longer about who has more guns, but who has the smarter, more adaptive machines. The German Vector and the Twister drones are proof that in modern war, brains are finally starting to matter more than brawn. And Ukraine is setting the standard for the rest of the world to catch up. So the next time you hear AI on the battlefield, don't picture a Terminator, picture a German drone flying just above the treetops, listening with machine ears, thinking with a neural network brain, and making sure it's not the one that gets shot down today. But there's something else I need to mention about Germany's Vector drone. The Vector, like its American spirit animal, the A-10 Warthog, isn't interested in dying for its country. It wants the other guy to die for his. In one particularly on-brand mission, a Vector took 11 rounds of small arms fire, including a direct hit to its payload gimbal. Any normal commercial drone would have thrown a tantrum and nosedived right into the nearest wheat field. The Vector? It limped home, landed, and is now being patched up for round two. This resilience is tactical gold. The Vector's ability to shrug off damage and keep flying makes it the A-10 of ISR drones. Ugly, tough, and exactly what you want in a fight. The Twister, meanwhile, is the little sibling that brings brains and brawn to tactical recon. With 15-kilometer operational ranges, 90 minutes of endurance, and a vertical takeoff and landing system, the Twister needs zero fancy infrastructure, just a flat spot and two minutes' notice. Need to swap out payloads for a thermal camera, LiDAR, or acoustic sensor? No problem. It's plug and play and can even act as a signal relay, giving your vectors longer operational leashes. Germany is sending Ukraine an ecosystem. And unlike the old model of shipping everything from the home country, the vectors manufacturer, Quantum Systems, is building and assembling twisters and vectors right in Ukraine. Wartime drone assembly lines are now part of Ukraine's national infrastructure. Eat your heart out, Detroit. The A-10 analogy isn't just for laughs. Like the Warthog, the Vector was designed to take a beating and keep going. Small arms fire, shrapnel, even losing its gimbal, these things come back for more. Every drone that makes it home is one less UAV Ukraine needs to build, one more mission that gets flown tomorrow. And the result? Well, Russian artillery units are forced to play whack-a-mole with ISR assets that don't quit. For every drone they knock down, two more pop up, and every kill is just another data point for quantum systems engineers back in the lab. As Ukraine continues to scale up drone production and local assembly, we're witnessing the birth of the world's first true AI-enabled drone army. The Twister and the Vector survive, adapt, and strike back with the help of narrow AI. This is what a mature, locally adapted, battle-tested drone ecosystem looks like. And unlike Russia's showpiece, Garon 3 jet drones, which yes, are loud and fast, but still crash, the German and the Ukrainian bots just keep getting smarter and harder to kill. So if you're betting on the next generation of battlefield dominance, skip the grand parade of old Soviet armor and start watching the skies. 
the age of the AI drone is here. And in Ukraine, the future is already being rebuilt from the debris of yesterday's war. By the way, I just wrote a massive 10,000 word primer on AI and warfare. That's free for everybody over at my Substack. I'll put that QR code right here. Check it out if you want a full download on everything there is to know about AI in war in 2025. That's it for today, friends. If you made it this far in the video, you're basically part of the unit. Hit subscribe and help us hold the line against bad information. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Crimea is Ukraine.